hello everyone welcome to the another problem solving session in this video we will solve dna storage problem of our last day contest that was coach chef starters 43 and here is the problem so this problem was pretty tricky and algorithmic type problem so let's read the problem for encoding an event length binary string into a sequence of a t c and z we iterate from left to right and replace the characters as follows that means uh, we have like uh, we have a bi uh, we have a binary string Bin uh, what is binary string first of all you need to know what is binary string binary string is uh, 0 1 1 0 without 0 and 1 there will know anything that is called binary string and this binary string we iterate from left to right and replace the characters replace the character means every characters of this string will be changed by following condition what will be uh, what was the condition uh, 0 0 is replaced with a 0 1 is replaced with t 1 0 is replaced with c and 1 1 is replaced with z okay fine given a string a binary string is of length n and n is even uh, n is even that means the length of the uh, string will be 2 or 4 or 6 or 8 that means the length will be the even number they are saying find the encoded sequence find the encoded sequence means the result after replacing uh, by a t c and c then then input format first line will contain t okay uh, by this line we are taking t and uh, uh, each test case contains two lines of input so two lines of input okay first line contains a single integer n so we will take uh, the integer n integer n okay and then the second line is what second line contains a binary string s of length n okay we, uh, we need to take a string called uh, the, the string name is s input and here is uh, a condition that the length of the string will be n that means the length of the string the length of the string is and n is uh, will be same so we'll check a condition here that if length of s equal equal n okay now output is what for each test case output in a single line the encoded sequence okay uh, here check the input first line test case is 4 and the length of the uh, string uh, 2 and then 0 0 so 0 0 so replaced with a and second test case is 0 0 1 1 so the result will be a z because 0 0 for a uh, a for 0 0 and g for 1 1 then 6 1 0 that means c for 1 0 again 1 0 the uh, the second c is uh, for second 1 0 and the third c is for third 1 0 and then fourth 1 0 for uh, c for 1 0 t for 0 1 that means we need to check uh, uh, two values or two characters of a string at a time I'm again saying that is the algorithm of this problem we need to check two characters in one time that means we will check the first two characters in a time then again then we will check the second two character at a time so how we will check it let's say uh, we will take a for loop like that uh, before going uh, into this uh, we will check we will see our uh, animation animated so solution let's say we have a string 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 so our algorithm is what we will check first two characters 0 0 and the result will be a then we will check 1 1 our result will be z then we will check 0 1 our result will be t then we will check 1 0 our result will be c then the final result will be a g t and c but the question is how we will check at a time two characters then let's see the code okay 
this is the solution code uh, see we take the first uh, uh, test uh, input for t and then n that's the our length of the string and then s then we will uh, generate a for loop that will start from 0 and this loop continue up to n and uh, and increase by 2 that means in the first iteration the value of x will be 0 then the value of x will be 2 then the value uh, will be 4 the uh, this condition so let's check if s of x that means uh, let's say our e string is that uh, I might uh, will copy that and paste it here okay let's say our uh, e string is there that uh, so if s of x so s of x means the value of x is now what 0 so s of 0 means what the first character so first character is 0 and s of x plus 1 that means 0 plus 1 that means we will check the s 0 we will check what the first ca uh, character of this that means this 0 and the second character of this string that's 0 if two characters is 0 then our output will be what a and after printing the a we will not print any uh, new line uh, that's why i write here int equal uh, single quotation that we that you know that uh, if we want to um, uh, if we want not create any uh, new line after writing the print uh, function then we need to write the int equal single quotation and then we are checking uh, another condition if this condition is false then 0 or 1 uh, 0 and 1 if 0 and 1 that print t uh, if 1 and 0 print c if 1 and 1 print z let's check this output then the first condition is matched so our output it will be a then the value f of x first of all the value of x was what 0 now we, it will be 2 0 2 and our value of n what uh, 0 uh, 2 4 uh, 6 8 the value of n is what 8 the value of 1 is 8 okay so 0 increased by 2 that means the value of x is now 2 so uh, here is uh, what s of x means s of 2 so the s of 2 that means 0 1 2 the loop is here 1 so this is not 0 so condition uh, false uh, 0 condition false 1 yes condition true and then uh, here x is now 2 2 plus 1 is 3 so let's check the index number 3 what's the value 0 1 2 3 1 1 yes condition matched uh, no 1 0 condition is not matched 1 1 yes condition matched so the out the output will be z after that the value of x will be what now the value of x will be uh, 0 2 and now 4 and the condition is 8 less than 4 condition true okay the loop will be executed okay now the value of x is 4 so 0 1 2 3 4 4 is 0 condition mass then 4 plus 1 is 0 no 0 1 2 3 4 5 is 1 no condition not matched 0 1 yes condition match so output will be t so a g t and then the value of uh, What's the, what was the value of x? It's 4. Now, it will increase by 4 plus 2. Now, 6. So, 6 is less than 8. So, condition true. 6 and 7. This uh, loop will check 6 and 7. And the final result will be that AGTC. AGTC. And this way, the code will be executed or uh, show us the exact result. Now, we will copy the whole code and we will submit the code to this uh, solution. Uh, let's paste and submit first of all uh, compile the code first submission yes successfully executed now submit code I already submitted just for sh showing you uh, currently running test case 2 ok ok correct answer yes our problem is solved so this uh, this is the pre uh, uh, problem so in the next video we will solve another problem thank you